Hi, I'm Charles Burnett, and I'm pleased to be here to present the Cinema Unbound Award to Steve McQueen. He exemplifies everything the award stands for. His work in the arts have pushed the envelope, and he will continue to have an impact for years to come. His contributions will encourage future artists to seek new ways and concepts to tell their unique stories and to illuminate the truth. One of the reasons uh, I was happy to to, to be here uh, to give you this award because I have a chance to tell you how much I appreciate your, your work, and particularly in small acts. Uh, the last episode on education was so meaningful to me because I was when, when I was in grade school, I went to a situation, I was in a situation just like that. We, we had a, um, a school uh, that um, for special education for kids that had a speech problem and um uh and so it was a lot of us who who had so many issues when we were going to school and and that kid in the in 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 the, in the film was somewhat me in a sense because i mean when i was going to, to elementary school i had this awful speech impediment that i couldn't speak at all you know and most of the kids in the class had some some issue with something handicapped in some way or another or in, or or something was impeding them and anyway so when we went to another school, when I graduated from there and went to a junior high school, they had no speech class. And they just kept people who had these issues in a, in a, in a separate classroom. And we had no um, um, uh, training or instructions or aid or anything. And so the, the, the teachers were like really not very nurturing. In fact, they weren't, they shouldn't have been there because it, even though they were doing this, they looked at us like we were dumb and had issues that were never going to be co corrected. And I remember this one teacher who uh, came down the aisle, walked down the classroom and pointed to each student, you're not going to be anything, you're not going to be anything. And he came to me and said, you're not going to be anything. And I remember that very vividly and it was very painful. But, but actually it, it had some benefit because I remember walking home from school and saying, looking back at this gray, you know, looked like it was a, a mausoleum or some school. And I said, I'm gonna comment on this. I'm gonna write about this and do something because I saw how it destroyed young people, kids and everything. And that's what actually got me in the film was the fact that I wanted to say something about the school. And I made, my, I made a promise to myself that, that at some point I'm gonna comment on this and say how they destroyed, you know, the youth in my neighborhood. And that's, you yes, why the riots? It's because, you know, we were so discouraged and not um, uh, looked on as being productive or ever will be productive. And all because of the way the system was set up and the teachers that were you know, overworked and never had an interest or didn't have an interest. There were some probably good teachers there, but anyway. Um, and so it was years later that I, when I got in the film, I got in the film because I made this promise that I was going to do something, either documentary or write or do something about exposing uh, the school conditions that I went to. And so I really appreciate that film a lot. Uh, and, and, uh, and I thank you for it. And, and this gives me an opportunity to, to, uh, thank you personally and say, uh, you're talking about illuminated truth. It's all in your work. And, uh, thank you so much.